Welcome back. This is our third lesson about working with meshes. In my graphic area, I've got a part with cosmetic fillets and a cosmetic pattern. I call them cosmetic because both of these features don't affect the structural integrity of this part significantly. However, they will significantly increase the number of elements in your mesh and thus cause you some needless delay. Let's check out how this works by running a study. We'll create a new study. Accept the default name and OK. Apply a material now. Right click, apply edit material. 1020 steel again, apply and close. Now let's set a fixture. Right click, fix geometry. I'll select these four faces. O OK. And let's apply an external load now. Right click, force. The load magnitude is going to be 10,000 pounds. And let's click OK. Now let's right click on mesh, select create mesh. I'm going to go with the default settings and click OK. Elapse time, 3 seconds, 4 seconds, you'll notice that the mesh progress is quite slow. It's taking much longer to compute this mesh than in our previous lessons. Notice the memory usage, the percent finished. OK, it took about 30 seconds to calculate that mesh. Let's have a look at the details. Right click, Details. The number of elements is about 78,000. Let's run a study now. The progress here is a little slower than previously. Okay, that took about 13 seconds in total. Now let's check the maximum displacement value. As you see, it's about 87 thousandths of a millimeter. Let's remember this number. Go back to our model. Now I'm going to suppress fillet 1, as well as revolve 1. Since patterns 1 and 2 are child features of Revolve 1, they were automatically suppressed as well. Let's return to our study by clicking on the Study tab. And let's recalculate the mesh with these features suppressed. We'll use the default settings. Click OK. And as you can see, it took less than a second to calculate the mesh. Let's check the details. Right-click on Mesh, Details. We've got about 9,000 elements, almost 10 times less than in our previous example. Let's run a study as well. Significantly faster also. Let's check the maximum displacement. It's virtually identical at about 87 thousandths of a millimeter. The point I'm trying to make here is that a cosmetic feature on your model that doesn't impact the integrity of the part is best off suppressed before you run a study with simulation. Now on the other hand, it's important not to go overboard with suppression. If you're not sure if a feature affects the integrity of your part or not, leave it unsuppressed. Basically, the more experience you've got with SOLIDWORKS simulation, the easier it's going to be to simplify a part without compromising structural integrity. And it will certainly speed up your processing time during simulation. This concludes our third lesson about working with meshes. We'll continue this in our next tutorial where we'll learn about mesh controls. After that, we'll be taking a look at mesh errors and some options for simulation.